After a five-month-long delay, Iraq finally has a new president. Barham Saleh of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan won 220 votes from the 273 lawmakers who attended Tuesday's session. Saleh held various posts in the Iraqi government after the ousting of Saddam Hussein, including as deputy prime minister and a former prime minister Nouri al-Maliki. Saleh was among 20 candidates for the post, including one from the rival Kurdistan Democratic Party, Fuad Hussein, who withdrew from the rest during the second round. What happened in the Iraqi parliament today is unusual and against past agreements, particularly among Kurdish parties. That's why the vote is unacceptable to us. We will give a full response later. Under an unofficial agreement dating back to the 2003 US-led invasion, Iraq's presidency is held by a Kurd, while the prime minister is Shia and the parliament speaker is Sunni. The delay in electing a president has many Iraqis worried about the state of politics in their country. Frustrating, but, uh, but then again, I mean, this is, this is Iraq. I really shouldn't be surprised. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm optimistic in the sense that at least we are progressing step by step. Moments after he was elected, President Saleh tapped a former oil minister, Adil Abdel Mahdi, to form the next government. Adil Abdel Mahdi is considered an independent candidate, but he will have to win the support of major Shia blocs in parliament to get confirmed to the post of prime minister. Two Shia-led blocs have emerged since May elections, both of which claim to have most seats in parliament and therefore the right to form a government. One is led by the current Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi and includes supporters of the populist Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr, whose followers won the most votes in the election. The other bloc includes pro-Iran groups led by former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. Any further wrangling among the Shia blocs and other factions could further delay the process of confirming the Prime Minister-designate. Mohammed Adou al-Jazeera, Baghdad.